Atlanta News First starts now. Tonight, a health care crisis for families in Atlanta, a much bigger problem than anyone anticipated. I'm Sean Gables. And I'm Rick Fulbaum. And we've been talking about this now for weeks. The impending closure of Wellstar Atlanta Medical Center. Well, take a look at this. We have just learned that these 10 other Wellstar offices will be closing or relocating. They range from primary care doctors to OBGYN services and all of them in or near Atlanta. The news coming on the same day, Atlanta Medical Center, Wellstar's only hospital inside the perimeter shut down its emergency department. The entire hospital will shut down November 1st. Atlanta News First reporter Savannah Louie live at AMC in downtown Atlanta. And after pressing Wellstar Savannah, you got an explanation. Yeah, Wellstar tells me that their main priority is maintaining patient safety. They're offering some reassurance tonight for patients who are in East Point downtown and throughout the metro Atlanta area who are concerned they might be losing access to their health care. This is definitely going to be an emergency for our city. Richard Snellings panicked over primary care. We are actually in a health care desert. His general practitioner's office of five years closing for good in mid-November. He says he was told he must drive 30 plus minutes north to Vinings for care. There are people who um, don't have the transportation to get up to Cobb County or to get up to Vinings, so that's definitely going to impact them. Hugely. Richard's clinic in East Point is an office in one of six Wellstar buildings closing mid-November in conjunction with Atlanta Medical Center in Old Fourth Ward. A lot of the clinics that you just spoke about are part of the medical model that supported the AMC hospital and campus. Wellstar leaders are working on a new community care model, providing more solutions for patients like Richard. I can assure you that there will be primary care access in South Fulton. Um, uh, overall and that need for transportation uh, for primary care um, services up to Cobb, um, I, I don't believe will be required. Details on that plan to be announced next week. We believe is not a reactive model of care, but really is a proactive model of care and brings the right care to the right people at the right time. Meantime, residents now pushing elected officials to increase resources in the southwest Atlanta area. That, that we needed a certificate of need to get another hospital in the city of South Fulton, and we just couldn't get that certificate of need. I'm also told that right now there are less than 40 patients here at Atlanta Medical Center and about three quarters of the patients that are usually here come through those emergency room visits. Also want to mention here that you should stay with Atlanta News First as we continue to follow the latest developments with that community care plan. We'll continue to bring you all those latest updates. But for now, reporting live from Atlanta, Fulton County, Savannah Louie, Atlanta News First. Savannah, thank you.